What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to make a dangerous zone. So when you enter on a certain area with enemies or whatever you want to have, it will display a quick message at the top and then when you exit, it will fade it away. It's going to be a very easy build to follow, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing that we will need to do is the area itself. So for this, we'll create a new blueprint. So let's go to the content browser, right click, go to the blueprint class and create a new actor. Let's name this something as BP underscore danger zone and let's open this blueprint up. So the first thing that we will need is to add a new component, which will be a box collision. OK, and this will be the trigger itself. So we can name this something as trigger area and that's it. The only thing that we need to make sure for this trigger is that it has the collision preset set as overlap all dynamics. So our player can go through it, but it can detect it. So let's go, go and subscribe to one of its events. In this case, we are interested on the on component begin overlap. So let's go ahead and subscribe to this, which is basically when our player will enter on this trigger. So other actor will be the actor entering into this trigger. So what we can need to do is just cast to the first person character blueprint or whatever character blueprint you're using in order to check if the player is the one entering. Now, normally we can also use a hashtag node and so on. But the thing is that later on, we will need to reference this blueprint. Uh, so that's what we need to do. OK, then what we need to do is go ahead and just um, go and print, for example, entering danger zone. OK, and then on the uh, end overlap. So let's also subscribe to this, which is when the you know player exits. We will copy and paste those two nodes. Make sure to connect the other actor to object and then this will be exiting instead. And now if we go ahead and test this, the first thing I need to do, of course, is drag danger zone to our level and change the scale with the luck to maybe 20. As you can see, it will be, you know, filling in this area. We can also just go to trigger area and search for hidden in game and disable that. And that way we can also see the trigger box itself when we play the game. So if I press play, you can see that it is here. And if I go into it, we can see entering danger zone at the top. And if I exit, exiting danger zone. So everything is going ahead and working correctly. The only thing we need to do now is, of course, make sure that this will only trigger once. As you saw, we were printing three messages. So we can do this easily by doing a do once node. There we go. And then we can also go ahead and do the same over here. A do once node. Great. So with that said, we can go ahead and make sure that it will only print one time because, well, it only detected the player once. There we go. There we go. It makes sense. Now, of course, we will also need a reset, but we can do that uh, reset a bit later. Maybe just waiting, like, for example, 0.2 seconds, something like that. So, you know, we will leave a bit of time for our player to go through. And with that said, we're good to go. Let's now go ahead and create the widget itself that we will display. So let's go to the content browser, right click, go to the user interface and create a widget blueprint, which will be a normal user widget. Let's name this something as WB underscore danger zone. And let's open this up. So the first thing that we will need to add is a canvas panel to our hierarchy. That way we can start to add things into our screen. Then let's get text. Just drag it into our canvas and let's change the anchor. So in this case, I'm going to put it at the top um, center. Let's put the position X and Y at the 0, 0. And then we can add some alignment like 0.5. So it'll be exactly at the center, as you can see. Then I can just go ahead and increase the size X and Y. Just make it way bigger. And then I can just change the text to be something as entering danger zone. And then I'm going to change the justification to be at the center and change the, you know, size to be a bit bigger. And I'm going to put the X a bit bigger and drop the Y around here. And there we go. Now we have this nice little text over here. So what I need to do now is create two different animations, one which will fade in and another one that will fade out when we exit that area. So let's go ahead and just go to window and add this animations panel, which you can see over here. So let's select our text component, add a new animation, and this will be something as show message. Let's select this new animation that we have just created. And for the first alpha, 
okay we will set it to zero so just expand color and opacity set the alpha to zero and add a keyframe at the zero 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 of our timeline then we can advance a bit maybe to 1.25 and put our alpha all the way to one and add a keyframe and so now if i press play you can see entering danger zone will slowly appear which looks very very cool then the only thing we need to do is just create another animation which will be something as hide message go and select this new animation that we have just created go ahead and just uh, select the um text add it okay and then go and put the alpha from one okay with the alpha to 1.25 put the alpha back to zero add another keyframe and now boom it will hide that message which is pretty cool so make sure that by default the um, text is with the alpha at zero and then let's go to the graph and delete everything except two things which we will need to add so let's create a custom event which we will call something as um show message animation okay and it's basically the only thing that we will do in this custom event that we will call later on is get the show message animation and just play animation okay and that's it let's do exactly the same with the hide so custom event hide um message animation put this over here and just get hide message drag it play animation and plug this in and you can see that oh, okay there you go you can see that now as you can see we can call this two custom events and it will play the animations that we need so for this let's go back to the bp danger zone and right um right after the print okay let's go ahead and on the enter area create a new widget in this case what widget well of course it's gonna be the danger zone and we need just need to get the return value and add it to the um, viewport which is basically added to the screen and with that said there's one last thing we need to do which is of course to get the return value of this widget and call the uh, show message animation and with that we're good to go it will play the animation so let's go and press play and now we can go through our trigger and boom entering danger zone appears on the screen pretty cool so now we need to set up when we exit the zone so let's just go and get the return value of this okay which we are going to make sure that is valid just in case okay so we will only continue if the widget is actually there and then if so what we're going to do is just go and um, call the hide message animation okay so it will go ahead and hide and then after a bit of delay which will be a bit different to this okay so let's add a sequence here a delay of i think it was 1.25 the length of the animation what we're going to do is just get this return value and just do a remove from parent okay which will basically go ahead and delete this widget from our screen completely so now if i go and press play you can see that we will have both states going on you can see my area in front of me if i go and enter boom we can see the entering danger zone animation come in and if i exit the area we can see that it will fade away and then we can go ahead and enter again it will showcase as you can see and we can go ahead and exit again and everything will just work so that's it guys if you found this tutorial helpful i would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel we will have full access to the project files through patreon or youtube members join my discord server follow me on my socials and now yes with all that said bye bye